Xiaomi, now the fifth largest smartphone manufacturer in the world, has announced a new, very high-end smartphone, the Mi 4. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is our unboxing of the Xiaomi Mi 4. Before we get started, we'd like to thank our friends at 28Mobile for lending us the Xiaomi Mi 4 for review. If you'd like a Mi 4 to call your own, simply click the link in the description below or go to 28mobile.com where you can also find dozens of other smartphones for purchase. So before a few weeks ago, my experience with Xiaomi was practically nothing. I had read of them and of course heard of them when Hugo Barra of Google went to Xiaomi to help expand the company internationally. Um, but the company is actually doing some pretty big things, especially of late. Um, last week it was named the fifth largest smartphone manufacturer in the world, which kind of took me by surprise, maybe a lot of other people. But this is the company's brand new handset, the Mi 4, so the fourth generation of its Mi handsets. And this one in particular has gotten a lot of flack. Well, the company actually has for the way it is said to take a lot of inspiration from Apple. But this device in particular, once we get out of the box, you'll see what I mean, um, definitely takes a lot of inspiration from the design of the newest iPhone, the iPhone 5S or 5. Um, but without any delay, let's get inside the box and uh, see what this is about. Of course, this is the 16 gigabyte version. This comes in two different versions, 16 and 64, and eventually it'll come in a lot of different color options, but right now it's just white. So there's that. And also on the inside, you're getting a lot of, of the same specifications you're going to find on many other flagships this year. Inside it has a Snapdragon 801 um, that's with Crate 400 CPUs clocked at 2.5 gigahertz. It also has 3 gigabytes of RAM, which a lot of other phones don't have now. Um, you've got your G3, which does, and a few others that do. But like the uh, 1M8 and Galaxy S5 do not. Um, this also has a 13 megapixel camera, but we're going to set it to the side while I continue to talk about specs. Um, it, is, it has a 5-inch 1080p display that's IPS LCD, so very similar to what you're going to find on other high-end flagships. Of course, in this packaging we have a micro USB cable, of course, and this is our standard power block, and it's actually for the US, so I did not expect that and reading materials, and I think that's it. There's no, no headphones in this, which is pretty standard, especially when you get a phone from Xiaomi, because they actually sell the phones at or near production cost, which is unlike most others. They make their money through selling applications, well, not applications, themes and wallpapers and icon packs and little aftermarket things like that. Um, nothing major in here, but you do get a SIM removal tool, which is really nice, and I'm going to take that out and save it for later. But that's it in the box. Nothing terribly fancy. You get a very stark packaging, very plain things inside the box. But the phone itself feels really nice. It's actually, actually kind of hefty. Um, the primary thing that you're going to notice about its build and design is actually that the rim is stainless steel. And actually the whole core of the phone is a machine stainless steel. Still, if you go to their website, it shows you the entire process of how they make this, and it feels really nice. And it feels actually kind of iPhone quality. It feels a little bit like an iPhone in the hand, minus the slick plastic on the back, which is something I'm not particularly um, fond of. But if we tear this off, it's not going to make any noise. I'm not even going to try. Tear this off and take some plastics off the back. I need to get this. Uh, IMEI and everything off so you guys don't see it. So if you do a quick hardware tour, here at the top we've got the earpiece speaker and of course some sensors. This is your front facing camera. I do not remember the resolution of this camera. Of course the rear one is 13 megapixels and you do have a tiny little LED flash down here. Um, you have capacitive navigation buttons which is back, home, and menu. Um, this is your SIM port here along the left edge. Nothing else there. Your machine drilled holes for your speaker grill, micro USB port, power and volume rocker, and along the top you've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as well as an IR blaster. And around back again, camera and some nice shiny 
me branding. Other than that, this thing is pretty basic. Your battery is a 30, 50 milliamp hour battery. And again, Snapdragon 801, 13 megapixel camera, 3 gigs of RAM, and a 5 inch 1080p display. And you'll notice that the bezels are very, very small on this. I'm going to turn on the display here. And while I do, I'm going to pull up the 1M8. So you can see just how it compares in size. It's shorter, of course, because it doesn't have those front facing speakers. But it's, it's very slim and the bezels are just tiny. And maybe I can get the G3 here. I have it as well. You can see its bezels actually look slimmer than the G3s, which is saying something because that's a very, very minimal bezel phone. And you can see those are very, very slim bezels. But this does come with uh, MIUI, and actually, I'm not sure if it's actually loaded on here to begin with. Um, the newest MIUI, which is MIUI 6, I believe, it's said to come out the 14th of this month. Um, this one, I'm not sure we can actually jump into settings and see if this is actually the newest one. Which... MIUI version... I can't tell. Um, but the display actually really quickly looks very, very nice. It's very vibrant, very poppy. And uh, so far, this is really nice. I like it. It's a very sturdy phone. And best of all, because uh, Xiaomi does sell their phones at or near cost, this thing is not going to cost a whole lot of money. Um, $459. So that is significantly lower than other flagships Stay tuned for more uh, Xiaomi Mi 4 coverage over the next week or two. And uh, until next time, I'm Taylor Martin, and thanks for watching. Folks, thanks for watching and supporting Pocket Now. If you'd like to help us even more, be sure to click the thumbs up button below and subscribe to the channel. You can find us around the web on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus at Pocket Now. I'm Taylor Martin. You can find me on Twitter at CasperTech, and I will see you next time.